This is my first attempt <coughs> at if we get the sound turned on to narrate over my garden area A, which is basically a reclinata and a bottom palm area of the garden. This was what the area looked like back many years ago, and this is what the area looks like in the last couple of weeks. Our idea is basically to clean it up so this way you can see what it looked like from the front and from the rear. Our idea is to cut back all the growth that you see in there, and I mean cut back all the growth so this way you can get down to the nitty gritty so I can cut all these little new shoots on the bottom. And to get it clean, uh, not so it's going to look like the bottle bomb here, but it will be clean. And this is the area from behind. Uh, I have lined up with little small uh, eight inch by eight inch uh, little stones, or six inch more or less to say. And that's what it looks like with mulch. And the uh, same idea is to keep it clean and prevent weeds from going. And that's what it looks like from looking at it through the back. But now we'll get into the serious part of it there. This is weeds. I pull them out. When I pull out the weeds, I pull out everything that goes with it. I use a, a gloves in my hand to try and avoid getting bitten and picking up all the stuff. I usually get a splinter anyway by the gloves. And I'll eventually scrape it down to the bare dirt, pulling all the weeds out, even getting as close as possible. And I end up with a pile like this. And then what I do is transport it to an area in the back of the uh, side of the house, basically on the side of the house where I have all the soil. And I pile it like I do here. This dirt pile I sift later on to reclaim mulch and other goodies. But getting back to this, I get down all the way down, uh, I try and clear as much as possible because all these little green things you see, I'd like to cut them right down as, as close as possible because there is still some growth in them. But this is the front, no, excuse me, that was the back again. But here's uh, one particular leaf front area, and I cut back on all of those. You can see most of them are pretty well clean. And I try and get it down and just say, okay, I cleaned it up as best I can and throw the mulch out all around the, the base of the uh, palm tree. It looks good for a couple of weeks, and I uh, basically, if I see any large weeds growing, I just pull them out. And this is what it looks like as I'm getting towards the end of cleaning it up. <coughs> I do the edging as close as possible. I use a scissor because that's my way of exercising. And this is what your finished product pretty much looks like in the end. Uh, pretty clean palm tree. Uh, it'll get away from you like it was prior to this because uh, well, new shoots will come up. Anywhere. It's a clustering palm. Shoots will come up anywhere where a clustering palm will come up. And now you can see what it looks like all cleaned out. And as you can see, my patio stones are all cleaned out too. But that's uh, what we do at the Dory Garden. We take each section at a time and clean it up. If you have any uh, thoughts or any questions, uh, just send them to me at Green Doherty and. Uh